Hey guys, this weekend me and my buddy Jackson are going to load up the e-bikes. We're going to pack up all our hunting gear, throw it into the truck bed camper, and we're going to drive into the Chattahoochee National Forest in hopes to take out some wild hogs. Let's go ahead and pack up and get a move on. I'm gonna park Black Lightning right there. We're gonna hop on into Jackson's car, consolidate vehicles right now. Okay guys, so I'm here with Jackson. Uh, Jackson's really been the brains behind this little weekend trip for us. Um, we've gotten to the four service road where it's gated off, so we're about to unload the e-bikes, uh, get all our gear together and start making our way. Uh, we have about three and a half, four hours of daylight. We're just gonna look for as much hog sign as we can and um, hit as many fields as we can. But since Jackson's kind of the brains behind everything, I wanted to give him a second just to talk about everything. Um, it's kind of our game plan for this weekend. Clay hit most of it. We're gonna just, this is not an area we know much about. It's an area that we've maybe seen a little bit of sign, but don't know a whole lot about it. So we're just gonna go in and, you know, hit fields, hit uh, high probability areas, and really just see if we can, you know, cover ground to cut trails and stuff. And then that'll give us more of a game plan for tomorrow. We may end up sitting on, you know, a field at dark just to see if anything happens. Really, the game plan is to come up with a game plan today. So we'll see what happens. I'm lazy, so instead of like having like push it first to get the, and then the bike helps you, I you just, just use this just as the I, throttle. As I start pedaling, just because like when you're having a big heavy backpack and everything, mm -hmm. it's kind of tough to like get going. Yeah. So I just kind of do both of the things. Ready to roll? Yep. Let's go do those other two fields first and come back. Okay. So about two hours left of daylight. Me and Jackson are splitting up. We found about three spots, three fields that are very rutted up with hogs. Um, so I'm about to go in one, to find a lot of fresh droppings there. And Jackson's gonna go to another one, um, maybe about half a mile down the road. So we'll stay there till dark and hopefully we can get something. Well, no luck tonight. I didn't hear any gunshots, so I don't think that Jackson had any luck either. But we'll walk back down to the e-bikes and head over to the camper and get some dinner.
Well, I forgot to film us making dinner, but we've ate and we're getting ready for bed. Yeah. We're about to call. <laughs> about to call it a night. Get off my body. We'll see y'all in the morning. Oh. Okay, so it's the next morning. We tried to get out here as quick as we could. Um, wasn't able to beat the daylight too much. Uh, the sun's I don't know, I think it's supposed to rise, what, 10 minutes or so? Probably so. Yeah. We found several fields that had a lot of hog sign. Um, so we're each going to be posted up in a different field, sit there for a couple hours this morning. If we don't have any luck, then I guess we'll look at our options from there. What were you yeah. thinking? Yeah, that's pretty much the plan. After that, we'll maybe stalk in on some signs, see if we can find embedded or something like that. But that's the plan. Sweet. Sounds good. Well, aside from that doe, we haven't really seen anything else. Um, but instead of just sitting on a field all day, we decided to park the e-bikes and go off the beaten path and just cover as much ground as we could. We've been hiking up a very steep ridge for about an hour now um, and gonna take a quick lunch break and really just enjoy the view while we're at it. Well, that's a wrap. After hiking what felt like miles, Jackson and I made our way back down to the fields that we started at. We had a lot of hog sign this weekend. Uh, saw a lot of signs that hogs were where we were at. Um, just wasn't able to time, time it just right. Uh, it's just the nature of the beast sometimes, the nature of the hunt. Um, hopefully we can get them next time. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, we'll, we'll see you next time. Everything you just watched so far was about, was actually a week ago. This is a week later, the next weekend, and I decided to make a quick afternoon run up to where Jackson and I spent last weekend uh, just to see if I could run into hogs just one more time um, before small game season ends. The reason why I say small game season is because technically we have to hunt with 22s um, in order to go on public land in hopes to kill a hog because we can't go just for the sole purpose of hogs. We have to kind of disguise it as hunting for small games of squirrels, rabbits, and so on. So here we go. Okay, so I just got literally the best news I could have heard. I just ran into this kind old couple walking out as I'm walking in, and they said that they just walked past about a half a dozen hogs. So I, the way they explained it, it sounds like it's about a quarter mile back. Um, fingers crossed they're still there. If not, then I would have missed them by just a matter of minutes. Um, but hopefully we're just a few minutes away from, from getting a hog. I see them, they're right there. We got a hog. Piggy down. So that was, that was awesome. Um, 
I set set my bag down, set the camera up super fast, which I was I was jeopardizing the kill by setting the camera up. And then right as I scoped it, it heard me. Um, it looked straight at me, which it was just just perfect. And um, I had the sights right in between its eyes and just pulled the trigger. Um, I, hopefully, y'all heard the rest after that. Um, but yeah, uh, we'll show you the hog now. Well, we did it. Mission complete. I don't really know where to start. Um, I was a little discouraged when I first pulled up because I ran into two hunters that also said that they had, they've been here for three hours hunting these same feral hogs and they hadn't seen anything. So that kind of sucked here and that. So about like 10 minutes after I ran into them, I ran into this older couple and they were just out for a Sunday afternoon stroll and they said that they had seen, like I said earlier, about six dozen, or not six dozen, about half a dozen hogs, about six hogs um, down on the right side of the creek. Uh, and they explained to me where it was. And um, by the time I got where they were, or where they said they had been, and kept walking, kept walking, got a few hundred yards past that, I was starting to get a little discouraged, thought I'd missed my chance. And then I heard something, heard a little rustling. It was on the left side of the road, so I hadn't been looking that much um, on the left side, so it really caught me off guard. Uh, and then I started recording, and, and y'all really seen it since. So that was a little, that was a little bit of the story, a little bit of the rundown. This is my first hog, so it's super exciting. Um, and it's, it's not a small one by any means. I know they can get really, really big, but it's still such an awesome, such an awesome journey, such an awesome adventure. Very grateful for it. Since these things are a nuisance and a pest, it doesn't really matter if I were to get any meat or not people kill them for sport all the time i don't really want to do that i don't feel that great about killing just for sport so i will cut um, the ideal meat from it we'll get this back strap right now i'm using just the ruger 1022 this past weekend jackson and i were each using uh, 22 magnums because obviously those are a lot more ideal for hog hunting however the 22 magnum that i was using was jackson's dad's gun and since I'm not with Jackson, I didn't really have access to that gun. So I was just using my own 1022. I was a little nervous going into it, um, but by the time I had this one scoped, it looked straight at me. It squealed and fell on the first uh, on the first shot, and then it just started spazzing out a little bit after that. Super cool, super cool. Gonna get those all cleaned and packed up and then we'll head out. Well guys, that is officially a wrap. We're home. We packed the back straps away, putting them into the freezer. So needless to say, it was a successful afternoon hunt. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you on the next one.